Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Distant Horizon with beacon support for Minecraft 1.20.1. With this new update, Distant Horizon is 30% faster in generating LOD with more tweaks for FPS and lot of bug fixes. In my last video, some people were having issues about installing Distant Horizon with Iris installer. So we are not gonna use that method but instead take normal approach. So first search for fabric loader, there is also a link in description and once you're on this website, just click on download for windows and download it i already have it so i don't have to download it and then i'm gonna explain the main mods that you need for distant horizons to work so these are the five mods that you really need for distant horizon to work first is fabric api some mods requires fab fabric api to work so we need that so just download it and then we have distant horizons we need distant horizons for distant horizons to work obviously and then we have sodium I don't even have to explain why we need sodium okay it's like optifine but better and then we have indium it requires for like iris shaders so just download it and then at last we have iris shaders for shader support now those were the five main mode that you must have to run the storm horizons but you will need chunky if you don't wanna load chunks manually and just download these extra sodium tweaks mods first is sodium extra that like gives you more extra options in sodium menu and next is re-sodium options it makes your sodium options like more compactful and easy to use and lastly we have noisium it is for world generation performance so just so just download it and if you want to use shaders they will link to this website and you can download shaders that are compatible with Distant Horizon. My favorite shaders are Bliss shaders and complementary shaders. Uh, where is it? Okay. There it is. Complementary shaders, BSL shaders. Okay, just need to wait a little for it to download. And for low end PC, use Makeup Ultra Fast shaders. There are plenty of options, just pick whatever you like. Okay, so now open where you download all the mods and shader packs and create like a folder with the same name as mods and shader packs. Just cross check if you have the same spelling, okay? Now just click on all the mods and move it to like mods folder and shaders too. And then double click on fabric installer and here the select the 1.21.1 version and fabric loader version is like the latest and install take on this create profile and it is installed and then copy these folder then press windows plus r and type percent app data percent here you need to look for minecraft folder like dot minecraft just go inside and press ctrl v or like paste it everything you did now we are done just open your minecraft launcher oh my god it's updating there's no way okay so after it's up done updating you will see the fabric loader 1.20.21.1 point um it's so hard to say okay so just go to installation tab and just and just locate fabric loader 1.20.1 and click on these three dots and here you just need to increase your ram to like half of your system ram i have 16 gb so i'm gonna put 8 gb and then save and then launch please work first try let's go please work first try i'm just passing time work hello you're not gonna work yes let's go it's working and then it went to like crash for three times but i fixed it so just download all the mods from the links i provided in description and then you will be fine now as you can see we have successfully installed distant horizon in minecraft 1.21.1 but minecraft's normal terrain is flat and boring 
So here are three world gen mods that you can use to make your world beautiful. But there is one downside that it will take much longer to generate LODs. So install these mods only if you have a good CPU. The first mod is Tectonic and the second is Terralith. And you can combine these two together with Terra Blender to complement each other. And the third is Lithosphere. But this mod is not yet updated to 1.21.1. So you will need to wait till it releases. Now let's test it out. I'm gonna use Tectonic with Terralith and generate a huge chunk of area with Chunky. Let's see how it looks. So I'm gonna type Chunky commands. And also check out this video if you wanna generate chunks without getting those weird holes in your world with Chunky. So here I'm generating chunks with my method, but you can also just do like a huge radius and just leave your computer for like one hour, two hour and come back and it will be loaded. But for me, I was seeing some holes in the wall and they just don't go away. So I come up with this method and I don't see any holes in my wall that's like really annoying. I mean, it works with me, but if you don't have a powerful CPU, don't try it. And also, if you're using C2ME mod, don't use it. It's bad. I've tried it. And it always breaks my world. Hey, where am I? It's night. Damn, that was weird. And it is working. Look at that. It looks amazing. Oh my god. This is amazing. How much FPS I'm getting? 60. Average 60 FPS, that is also insane. I've placed these beacons here. They look so good. But they flicker a lot <laughs> when they're like far away. Wow, 90 FPS looking in the sky, that's insane. 100, 104. Wow. I mean, it's not a distant horizon video if, they, if there's not a person who's on Elytra flying around. How does Terralit and Tectonic look though? I mean, it's pretty good. Look at that. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Oh no, it's glitching. I'm gonna place so many beacons here. That's done. Oh no. Ooh, that's bright. Whoa, that looks good. Yep, that looks good. Down. Oh my god. Oh my god. That looks like Kamehameha from Goku. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, what is going on? That's laser beam. Oh, that looks cool. Well, that's enough for today. Uh, why is my head so weird? <laughs> well, that's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed and installed the Snow Horizon correctly. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Ta da. Subscribe. Like.